Well, the first time we listened to this band, I w honestly, it wasn't my favorite thing in the world, I'm not going to lie. But the uh, Flash request post convinced me otherwise. We're going back to Little Feet. Hi guys, welcome to Lee Reacts. Hope everyone's having a good day. I know I am. We are back with Little Feet, like I already said. And it is... Hold on. Spanish Moon Live. I don't know what year. I thought it said what year it was. I guess it doesn't now. But uh, this was a pick from Michael K. If I'm remembering correctly. He was the one who commented this. It got a ton of likes. So it was this like live. I think he said 76. I could be wrong though. Um, so thank you, Michael, for a good pick. I'm already guessing it's going to be good if it got all those likes. Um, just like that uh, Baker Street. That was the other Flash Request post winner. And um, I'm going to be doing those every Friday now. So if you guys uh, just want to make a thing out of it just be ready on friday uh probably i'll post it after the videos premiere and it'll be a weekly thing and i'm gonna pick at least one or two just to kind of you know give back to the community because i know not everybody has the funds to you know do you know how everything goes on this channel basically and uh i just really appreciate the community in general so i want to try and give back as much as i can um and that's i guess the only way i really can so if you guys, I'm going to always try and, well, I can't really help it if it gets likes, you know, but I'll try and pick the ones of people that aren't patrons at least because, um, you know, even if you just subscribe to this channel, I I really appreciate you. All right, enough sappy. Let's go. Ba ba ba. If y'all aren't subscribed, please help brother out. Click that icon. Do, do, do. Right down there. There's a like button. Do, do, do. Right under the Art of War, probably. <laughs> so if you could leave a like, maybe a comment too, I'd really appreciate it. All right, here we go. Little Feet, Spanish Moon Live. Three, two, one, go. It's redemption time for Little Feet, I'm guessing.
kind of groove this has. It almost reminds me of Santana at points, but like minus the dominant guitar at points. Here comes the guitar, right after I say something. like a big party, bro. I love it. <laughs> Just going in a circle. What is happening, bro? I love it. Uh, they are just uh, accrediting everybody, okay. <laughs> hey, where'd you guys go? Oh. Rhythm section's got it. We're staying, baby. Let's go. Until they kick us out. That is so cool. <laughs> Bye. Yeah, guess who's left last? Uh-huh. Drummers are like the Marines of, you know, the band. First in, last out. <laughs> oh, man. That was... A total party that that totally redeemed little feet in my eyes and I, I say that in just like an endearing joking manner I don't actually you know what I'm saying like I, it wasn't for me the other stuff but that that was definitely for me um that was fantastic let me see Spanish moon little feet all right so I'm gonna go to it was on the album feats don't fail me now that one is released in 1974. So I'm going to go to that album. I don't have an exact lineup for this show, you know, in particular, but um, uh, it was the fourth studio album, 1974. The cover was designed by Neon Park. Yeah, that cover is awesome looking. Holy shit. All right. So it is. I'm trying to find it so I can actually talk in the mic. Um, wait till shit hits the fan. That's hilarious. All right, so it was the last track on track, or last, yeah, the last song on side one, um, the personnel. So Paul Bear Barari on guitar and vocals, Sam Clayton on percussion and vocals, Lo oh, Lowell George on vocals and guitar, Kenny Gradney on bass, Richie Hayward on drums, uh, Bill Payne on keyboards. Um, Fred White on drums and Cor Gordon DeWitty on clavinet for Spanish Moon. And um, like I said, oh, Tower Power did the horns. That's pretty cool. Um, like I said, that's, that's the lineup for the album. I think this was in 76, but I, you, I could be wrong. You can correct me if I'm wrong. Um, I don't know like what the lineup is exactly. It could be the same one. It could be everybody different. I don't know. But I'm just going to run with the album one. Um, and of course, uh, Lowell is just... Uh, a fantastic guitar player. I don't think he really got to show off that much here. I think uh, the horns, um, especially the percussion, because like I said, first in, last out. They were there till the very end, baby. You know, turning the lights off, turning all the equipment off on you. <laughs> nope, 
we're still here, man. Um, and I, and I think that was great. That was like the backbone of the on the the whole song was the uh, the whole, just the rhythm section and that uh, rhythm they kept kind of going with. But they kind of got to change it up and go into some other stuff there towards the end. Um, I don't know, man. I, 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 it's really hard to beat those horns and the saxophones and stuff, man. Like the sound they were getting. Honestly, that and the keys were the most dominant sound, you know. Um, except like when the vocals came in, the vocals were there. But it was also a live video from '76, so you can't expect the world from the uh, um, the quality, you know. Uh, so I'm guessing Bill Payne was the guy with the big, giant, you know, organ-looking thing and the, the knobs on top. He had a great sound too in this song. I think. Um, I think that the rhythm section, the horns, everything was great. The only thing that was really kind of low in the mix of everything was the guitar um <laughs> except until i said something then he busted out a little sick lick but then that was it you know um but that's fine i think the song was kind of meant to show off the horns because they brought other people in obviously for that song so that's what they're trying to highlight you know uh and i think it was great that's my favorite song of theirs i've heard so far i think that's the third one and um like i said i love giving bands another chance because not everybody's gonna like everything that's everything's subjective but you can always find merit in things for the most part. <laughs> Maybe nowadays and some of the stuff from back then, you know. We, we still haven't really touched disco at all, thank God. Um, I bet I do one disco video, I get a whole new wave of people. <laughs> and then it's all disco requests and then the old crowd leaves. Oh, no. I can't do it, though. I'm not going to do it. Um, I don't know, man. Like, uh, I, I really just like when bands have fun on stage and they feel like a family and we're just doing our thing, you know, because... That was like my ultimate dream just to go with my, you know, band that my friends and I were in back in the day. And I just to go tour the entire, you know, country and live in a van. I honestly, I know that life is terrible, but I always wanted to do it. It was my dream, you know. Um, but unfortunately, we got, yeah, hooked on other things, let's say, and got uh, preoccupied. With, <laughs> and music came very, very before uh, or after a lot of other stuff, let's say. there It was in uh, fifth or sixth place out of everything to do. But I'm going to change that. Um, obviously, I can't change them being here because they're all gone. But um, I, I, I'm going to get everything back together eventually. I'm going to start playing again because I need to be able to express myself somehow, man. Because I can just feel myself bursting at the seams with ideas and all this stuff to do. And, you know, I just feel kind of stuck. But it is what it is, you know. This too shall pass. I like that's the one Bible verse I really like, honestly. That's very true, you know, no matter what. You'll, you'll get through it. Might not get out. <laughs> you know, it might not be the best at the end, or it might be the best. Who knows? But you got to go through it no matter what. And uh, I don't know. Well, it'll be okay in the end. I know that. I'm just uh, working really hard, obviously. There's some stuff behind the scenes that aren't, you know, isn't really. The dice aren't rolling my way this month, let's say. And, you know, and that's just a part of the game, and that's okay. And I just wanted to say thank you to the community for uh, watching the videos and. I don't know, just being here in general, because I remember when I had uh, 500 subscribers, you know, and uh, nobody watched videos. I remember when I made terrible, shitty, quality ass videos like two months ago. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, no, but really, like, my original stuff was not that good at all. And um, I learned and I got my way there and I finally got a little studio together. And, you know, I, it just takes time. And I've put a lot of time into this channel, a lot of work and a lot of dedication stuff that y'all don't even know like you really don't and um but still y'all make this happen so i'm gonna be doing these flash request posts every friday um around probably like 12 one o'clock my time eastern standard time i'll post it and you know whoever comments first usually gets the most likes or you know the, depending on the song so you might want to get ready for it if you want to get your song picked and you're not a patreon member and you want to get one done that's that's the way to do it and um uh, yeah thank you michael k once again and uh I'm out of here. Thanks for watching. Patreon right here. Woo. That's a picture. There is a link in the description uh, for this last month only. Join the $15 tier up. You get one free request a month. Uh, you can join any of the tiers. Get access to all the block videos and the full album reactions we have on there. There's a lot of stuff. The Beatles, Blind Faith. It goes on. There's a lot of stuff. <laughs> uh, I've been getting a lot more blocked videos here as of late. And I have to like upload them. I said a Jethro Toll video blocked out of nowhere because... Freaking aviator management. Ugh, I hate them. Them and UMG, man. They're just the worst at the copyright stuff. And they're not within the United States, technically, apparently. So they're not beholden to United States copyright law, which is the one that I have to, you know, state to get my stuff through because this is fair use. Because I, 
completely add my life story and my experience with music and what I feel with it. You know, like, I definitely make it my own. And I don't know. The YouTube's always usually on my side, but the other point, I just do so many videos. It's kind of hard to keep track of stuff. So, all right, I'm done rambling. Bye. It didn't click. Oh, no. What do we do now?